I have the flip through of the journal that we made in the beginners junk journal series. This journal was made, the cover is a composition book covered with a gift bag and it is full of amazing and beautiful stuff. It's available now in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. For more details and the flip through, stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have a flip through of the first journal that we made and finished in the Junk Journal Beginner Series. So this is the journal that we covered with a composition book. I will put the playlist in the description box down below and this journal is for sale in my Etsy shop while it lasts. The Etsy shop is Dear Julie Julie. So again, the cover is a gift bag over a composition book and I left the edge of the composition book. I added this fluffy tassel. It was ribbons and this, oh my gosh, this right here makes it feel amazing. All kinds of little trims. And so this was just um, made with items that you probably have in your home is the idea of this particular journal and no digitals. Um, because I had several people say that they didn't have a printer to print the free digital that is available with the beginners class, um, which is also a free class here uh, every weekday at 335 while we are home. So I also did add these little charms um, to this journal. It's a five hole pamphlet stitch. It just has some seam binding lace. And like I said, this was a gift bag. So you might have a gift bag in your items that you have in your home. So this is also from the gift bag. This is from an adult coloring book right here. This is an envelope and we have um, stenciled with the negative after I took out the bingo markers. So if you have a bingo game with bingo markers um, or something, you can use it to stencil and I stamp some lines there. And this just is a piece of fabric that is on there. This is a beautiful card. You also could use possibly a photograph that you have of items from your home. So we, we did make this little tiny um, notebook and so it's a mini journal and it's using notebook papers. There's a ticket there. It has a three hole pamphlet stitch and these are little um, butterflies cut out from the note paper. This is also from the note paper. Again, the adult coloring book. We have a flip tuck here and where the, and it's a privacy envelope. So you see there's the decoration from the privacy envelope. This is the corner of one of the notes that I, note papers that I was using. So we made a stamp. This is part of the gift bag and I just um, used my postage stamp scissors and a little postage stamp there. So again, this was from a privacy envelope turned inside out. Okay, turn it over and this coloring book was flipped up to make a pocket and we have a little waterfall notebook here with note papers and other papers. This is a Yahtzee um, game sheet and some graph paper and it's just stapled at the top. This is a journal that I took apart and it's sewn so I was able to take it apart and have side-by-side -side pages. So there's pages here and pages in the back, okay? So, and they're sewn together in the center there. Some more of that stenciling. Here is another journal that I had. I added some stenciling, added a tab here. This is wired ribbon and I cut it in half and then I gathered at where the wire was and then I stapled it on. Okay. So here, this is one of, this is the tag from the gift bag and I actually had two gift bags. So, um, I used one gift bag for this one and one gift bag for an, another, for another journal. But for this one, um, I used both of the sparklies because they would go with this. The other 
the other journal is distressed and, and much different. So a Project Life card, or you could use any type of little card, and it has a place that you could actually put something under there and keep it. So it's a clipboard note. Okay, and we use this on the edge. This is a gardening book about all kinds of different um, plants. And that you can see this is the shrubs and bushes page. It's really pretty. It matched this journal. And again, I, I, um, un I took it out so that it's a side-by-side -side page. So there's the other side of the page is back here. And that's awesome. So here's the gift, another part of the gift book or gift bag back of that page. And we decorated guest check and added this really cool little thing here. There's some stamping. There's some washi tape here and here. And you'll see if I added washi tape throughout. So we did a fabric pocket here on top of the map page. And I chose a map page that went with this journal. Added some lace to the edge. Again, we have a pocket here. And then from the... One of the other gardening books, I took this beautiful tulip picture, added some washi tape, and I made a pocket. I used staples because it's glossy paper, and sometimes glossy paper doesn't want to, um, to be glued. I have this great stationery, so we use, use that stationery in here. So we've used a couple different gardening books in this journal. Again, this is from a... Um, Oh, what is a Thomas guide? Okay, so here's one of the stationary pages. I flipped it up and made a pocket and then made a bookmark out of um, some cards that I had. Added some washi tape down here. This is the other side of a privacy envelope and I've attached it onto this calendar page and then we have this great um, Project Life card. Just fits right there in that pocket. So this is the calendar page. You can go ahead and write here. You can write in the squares. Um, I love to use calendar pages. Even though they end up upside down, I really like to use them. So here we have some stenciling. That was the last thing that we did was adding stenciling and some stamping. I even stamped right on top of this note paper here. We made a large paper clip, and it's collaged with a variety of items, including... The small picture that came that is this big poppy and then this is a I call this a stack of note so um, we have several of the note papers and they're on top of this one we don't lose any writing pa writing space by adding that so um, I really like that so that's helping to hold that close we have another one of the tabs here and you'll see we have added a little charm with some of the gold trim to the edge. And then here we have, this was from a wedding invitation set. And I just pulled this up, made a pocket on the back, added just some of the paper that we had cut off. Added, this is from some note paper. And added that because it matched better than the, the image that was there. Here we have some of the um, composition paper. And again, I unstitched it and that gave me side-by-side -side pages. Some more stenciling. Here's the card that we've been using. We have a calendar page and some, I stamped the butterflies here. This is some awesome ledger paper. And here we have a two ticket leaning Two leaning ticket tuck. So so it's a leaning ticket tuck and we used two tickets. And we stamped on this one, used washi tape. And then here we have another um, Project Life card. This is an envelope that I turned inside out because the inside of the envelope was beautiful. And you can see it matched the gift paper. Now when you have something like this, you can just go ahead and open and it makes it easier to get in it in and out. So this is one of those note papers you've seen that I've cut the butterflies out of and I've used it in se several other places. This was from a um, coloring book and I just liked 
I liked the picture. I liked that the butterfly was here. I was able to fold it and um, have butterflies on each side. And since we had butterflies in this, I thought that this was perfect. So here we're able to um, fold this up and make a pocket. This is from our collage page or Franken page. I did not do the, any stitching on it. We just collaged the page and then turned the, the um, items into uh, tags and pockets and things. So this is a border tuck and I made it into just, I just used a piece of the guest, the guest book, no, the gift bag and put it in here on top of this music. And um, I love this. I love using, and then just some assorted note papers and some washi tape down here. There's that music paper. We did some stenciling with a different stencil there. Here is a privacy envelope that we turned into a floating pocket. And because it had the window, we went ahead and put a piece. This is also from the collage page. It has a little pocket in the back. And um, I just attached it to part of the file folder that I was using through here. So this is just a privacy envelope that we turned into a floating pocket. It fits right here into this calendar page. This is the center of our signature and it is a beautiful butterfly and I just absolutely love it. So here is another piece of the gift, gift bag and a note paper. Here we have a belly band made out of the inside of the top of the gift bag. Here's a large um, large tag made out of our uh, collage page and I added some of the stationery to the back and it just fits on here and I just think that it's a great addition there. So here this is packaging. You can tell this is from the gift bag from the bottom and we just made a little little open notebook that you can or note page, card, note card. <laughs> and this is clear packaging. And so with the clear packaging, you're able to see what we put in. And um, I love it. I just, so this is some steno paper and you saw it earlier. It's just folded in half and it gives us kind of a list kind of page. We have the other side of the adult coloring book and, um, Actually, I think this was a, it's a, it's not an adult coloring, but it's just a coloring book. And then a things to do, and you get several of those little lists there. Here is a piece of the stationery, and you see it's attached to that really pretty envelope, and we have a double tuck here. So using the flap of the envelope, we've made a place to tuck in some of the little cards, and I love that. So here we've added a little note paper, so you can write here, you can write here, you can write here. This gave it um, something pretty, and so for the border flip, and it's an actually, it's a flip flop, okay? So this is something that I love to do in my journals gives me extra writing space and so that is a flip flop. Here we have a waterfall notebook page. So you see we have a variety of the papers that we've been using in this journal and in a waterfall and it is it has this little flap that goes over the top of this page. It's being held on by a paper clip. And then I have a bookmark with note paper. So that is on the back. And it's all put onto this calendar page here. Okay. Here we have a tag. And we've collaged on the tag similar to what we had collaged on our page. And then we added this flip tuck here. And this little flip tuck, um, I think they call it. Um, Rita Donnelly or something like that flip um, I was corrected I call it a flip tuck because it's you know you fold to it's a flip you got a flip 
and it's a tuck space. So um, there we go. And it's holding a tag. And here's that other butterfly, and it is a belly band. Again, this is holding really tight, so if you hold it straight up, then it's easier to get it, get your item in and out, or it should be. There we go. So some stenciling here on our composition book pages. We have a fabric flip, a simple fabric flip here. There's nothing extra on it. It's just the fabric flip and a place to write underneath. More stenciling on stationery. There's note paper there. It's attached to this stationery. We have a place here that we can put in Let's see. We have a. Yeah, we'll just put one of these Project Life cards in there. There we go. And we have a pocket here with the poppy. And here is a beautiful waterfall page. So it has all these places to write, and, and it's pretty. And it is on the back of a privacy envelope. So I love the way that turned out. So here's our privacy envelope. It has a large tag in it. This is the decoration that you're seeing through. The decoration, the tag is made out of a paint chip. We have some note paper on the back and a little piece of note paper underneath the clipboard style um, embellishment there. So this journal was meant to be more simple. It was the first journal that we made in the beginner series. So here is a piece of the um, coloring book. It has some paper that I had, washi tape, and a piece of the map. Down here at the bottom, we have both kinds of stenciling. It's on the stationery. Here's another one of the pieces from the gift book bag and this is the one of the holes and I went ahead and stapled this so that it was going up because I knew it was going to be a tag and added a stamp and other pieces from the stash that we've been working with. This is file folder with a fabric and then we tied the the um, eyelash trim around it. We have a pocket down here made from the gift bag and we also have a paper clip that's stuck. There we go. So a paper clip. And this was made from some stuff in my stash. And it's stamped and has a, um, some washi tape. And so this is a flip up with a pocket. And then also you have this secret spot you can write in right there okay so this is a flip that you can write in you have this pocket and it's it's it looks like it's sealed so um, basically all of that could be secret okay and it's on a map page here's the other side of the um, plant book we have a flip up, flip down pocket here made from note paper. We have a tag flip with, um, this is made from the gift bag. There's a regular tag and this is from the file folder. So, and then those all can fit in here and the top one can be out or in. I think we'll put it in just cause I don't want it to attack this paper. So here we've stamped an image and stenciled and here's another one of the tabs stamped here and um, this is more of that journaling, the other side of the journaling papers. Another paint chip with a butterfly from the note paper and some washi tape and note paper attached to the back. We have stenciling and stenciling on the coloring book page. Here we have um, part of that collaged page and we just have some of the things to do notes here. 
and they're in that little spot. Here we use the file folder made a belly band. It has a note paper in it and um, this is from the gift bag. It was a scrap piece from the gift bag and then we have some more of the file folder in the back. Um, you'll see that across the in the inside cover this pocket goes all the way across and so again this was made out of the cover of a composition book covered with and then we use duct tape a lacy beautiful lacy duct tape to um, reinforce the center and I just absolutely love the way this turned out so again there will be um, two playlists or actually several playlists but I'll have the playlist um, for the whole beginners series down below in the description box and I will also add the um, it'll say beginner series composition book butterfly journal okay and so that'll show you how that'll have all the videos for everything that we made in here so this journal is available in my Etsy shop and that is Dear Julie Julie. It's also linked in the description box down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you didn't even know that there was such a thing, we are on part, we just finished part 16 and we are live every weekday at 3.35 and doing beginner's junk journal all different kinds of things we like i said we're on part 16 so we've done a lot of a lot of things and um we'd love to have you join us also don't forget it's april and we have the april a to z junk journal challenge also put on by dear julie julie and you can find the details video in the description box down below Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.